Welcome back to World Beater Wrestling. Today we're going through three counters for the figure four leg lock, depending on how far into the hold they are. First one's gonna be just when they hook that leg and they haven't started to twist into the figure four. So for this one, you're gonna be on your back. Most people are gonna target the left leg in pro wrestling, especially Western style pro wrestling. We wanna make sure they haven't already twisted around the leg. Have a go, all the way around. We don't wanna to get to here. Once we're here, it gets trickier and we're kind of moving into the next set of counters. So we want to do it early. As soon as my leg is grabbed, the first thing I'm looking for is to grab the back of their same side ankle. Okay, so this one here is called a tripod sweep. So I grab this side and you'll notice by doing that I'm cutting a little bit of an angle. That's perfect. It's going to make it a lot easier than being front on. So I cut that angle, I grab that ankle. Now using my free leg, I want to tuck the back of the knee joint. Step three is to push my heel, turn my foot, and push my heel through their hip. As I'm doing that, I'm making sure that my free leg and my hand are both neutralizing. I don't want to be loose on the grip. I want to almost give a little bit of a pull as I push, right? Cre creating those opposing forces. Even though my opponent has my ankle, has my foot, we're fighting legs to wrists, legs to hands. I'm always gonna win that battle. So don't be afraid, just push through the hip. So from here, we grab the leg, ankle, knee joint, push to here. I wanna keep control of that ankle so that when they go down, I can come up and now I can go into a figure four of my own. So that's step one. Step two, this is if they've already started to circle around the leg. So if I'm in this position, perhaps I couldn't get hold of that ankle, they start circling around and we get to this kind of step over toe hold position. I'm in a bit of trouble here. I can't use that same tripod sweep because now my leg's being wrenched at the knee. So what I want to do is I want to wait until they get all the way around. As soon as they get all the way around facing me, keep going, this actually opens up an opportunity for me. So from here, I'm going to go into, it's a variation of a reverse de la Hiva that they use in Jiu Jitsu. So what I want to do for this one is I need to switch legs and I need to make sure my other hand is hooking around the back of the ankle. So I want to be quick with this. I want to switch to here. Okay, if, you're, if the grip is too tight, it's too late. I need to get, while they're moving, I want to get that angle changed. Here. As I'm doing that, I've got active toes pushing through. I've got the back of the ankle hooked. Now for this one, we're going to hook the other way. So we can start here just to keep the leg neutralized, but then I want to switch inside. For this one, I'm going to go into what's commonly called a crab ride position. Now to do that, from here, this counter is called Kiss of the Dragon. Don't ask me why, but for this we're going to spin by using his leg. Okay, so if I go back and do it slowly, I've got the leg neutralized, got that inside grip. I'm going to swim my left hand through and use the back of his leg to spin my body under. So from here to here. By doing that, I now have my shin on the back of his knee joint, which is perfect. The last step, once I've got some space, is to pop my other shin on the back of his knee joint. I'm going to grab the waist, kick my legs up and out to here. We've got chokes. We've got arm bars, lots of different options. So that's step two. Step three is the final step. And this is what we want to use if they've already got the lock on, they've already gone to their back and they're just inches away from locking the figure four. So for this one, they've already gone around. I couldn't get the ankle. It's too tight. I can't get that reverse De La Hiva. My foot is being pushed. There's not really much I can do at this point. So as soon as they go to their back, I want to block that final leg. Once that leg comes down, it's, pra it's practically game over. The only way out is going to be to try and grab the ropes, try and switch leverage, but it's going to be tricky. So I need to block that. From here, my left leg has a slight opening. Even if he's holding my right leg as he is now, it's not going to matter too much because my left leg is free. I'm going to flex my toes. I'm going to try to get my toes to the mat. All right, so I'm creating tension in his own leg. Now, if I can get my right leg free, I want to kick it around in a circle to the mat 
and use that to step up. This is what we call our figure seven position. This is perfectly a good hold to, to start working the leg, working the knee. But what I like to do from here is grab the free leg. I like to figure four his own legs around each other. And I use that figure four, grabbing both toes or the heel works just fine. And I like to turn them onto their stomach. Again, lots of options from here. If I wanted to, I could keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, tuck the leg behind, and I've got that reverse figure four set up. I could go to face locks or plenty of other submissions from there. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.